Hello and welcome back to Transports Fever 2, the UK modded series. Thank you very much for joining me in today's video. And we are currently at the sawmill for or near uh, Croydon. Some of you may have already noticed the problem that we have run into. So in the last video, we went ahead and essentially upped the transfer rate of lumber. This isn't really lumber is it? it's planks planks from this particular sawmill to the goods factory over in down market however we have not managed to up the level of transfer for the logs i guess timber that is probably a better word for it in fact i suppose that is timber as well uh, for for the logs from the from the forest to here. So what we have run into is this issue in which the trains are ready to take the lumber over to or the planks, the sawn planks, over to the goods factory, but there are not enough of those planks. So in this video, the key part of this video is we have to address that particular problem and that is exactly what we are going to do after we've done that we're going to start doing a little bit of fine tuning figuring out what is and is not working on this line and then perhaps if i get a chance i shall actually do what i was supposed to do in croydon in fact here we go this is a prime example of the problem as you can see uh, and then as i said if if i do figure out all of this and it works the way I want it to I shall attempt to do whatever needs to be done in, in Croydon with the housing and just see if things are actually going to build up so that is the plan for this video before I continue if you do enjoy these videos please remember to give it a thumbs up or like whatever you want to call it we should always call it like but a lot of people say thumbs up now Give it five stars. Who remembers the star rating on YouTube? That is uh, going back many, many, many years. In fact, that goes back well over a decade, I think, for the star rating. Uh, and, of course, subscribe and comment, because I do read the comments. A like tells me, yes, you like the video. A comment tells me exactly what you liked and what you would like to see next. So that is really important not from the algorithm's perspective but for my own knowledge right all of that said and done let's roll the intro and let's get started okay what i'm going to do is i'm going to first off as you can see that this mess here first off I'm going to remove, and I know this, actually I'm not going to do that just yet, I'm planning to remove one wagon off the back of each of these, each of the three that I have. That is interesting, that's a new, um, that's a new metric, loading speed 0 0.97. So I am running this, by the time this comes out, I think the, I think the new version of transport fever 2 the update the patch should be out i'm already running it on the patch at this time this this recording this is the start of february and uh, i'm already running it on on the actual um patch so i'm just going to see that again yes that is uh interesting because the train length exceeds the platform length yes so i'm going to sort that out but the other thing I need to do is I need to bunch these up a lot, lot more. So, I'm going to start making adjustments to our signals. Unfortunately, I have to bunch these up. Ooh, what's on earth? What was that? What's this lag all about? What in the world is all of this lag? That 
that is new. This embankment was so detailed. I wish I had the time to do this for. I wish I had the time to do this for everything. I really just do not have the time. Right, so that is going to improve the flow just there. What I'm then going to do is. What is going on? Putting signals in seems to be causing extra lag. That is not something I was expecting. Right. Interestingly enough, that is exactly the size of that train, but these are going. Okay. Now. What I need to do after this is I need to adjust this particular um, what's the, what are these? Oh, underground platforms, of course. I need to adjust these particular or this particular platform, but there's there's a few things I need to do. First off, I need to. I know this seems a little, perhaps a little strange what I'm doing here, but. I've been thinking about this and I've realised that realistically this would be a thing so this I know this isn't quite correct but this is how the trains would or the the locomotives would move to the other side of the platform or the yeah the, to take the train in the other direction so I've been thinking about that I thought perhaps I, sh I should do something along along those lines. Uh, right. Not good. If only if only we could do other things. Right. Uh, empty cargo platform. That is what I would like. Right here. Now you're probably wondering what on earth am I doing? Well, it is quite simple really. Uh, what is the speed of this approach? 50? Okay, well, that is going to need to be adjusted slightly. But let me start with the 50 then. Things are going to change a little around here. Oh, so we do have these. I'm actually going to actually set up some of these speeds just like this anyway. Uh, actually, think brain, think. How would you want to do this if, if you wanted something to... This one, nobody needs to cross back over, but things might need to cross back this way. So realistically, what you want is something along these lines. But once this train is through, in fact, perhaps if I just pause it there, I'll make uh, I'll make my adjustments, and I know this is going to mess everything up, but it is worth it just for this temporary amount of time. There's the fifty, and then that connection there. Followed by the 20 of this one. Oh no, wait, it needs to go across this way too. Bother. Oh no, wait, that, that could work, that could work. Because then here we, we are going to have a, a 20 there. Followed by a 20 there. And then... I suppose if they're coming back across, how are we going to do that? 
will this allow me to do it? It's going to be a really awkward one. This isn't going to allow me to do it, which is a pain. So I guess we'll do the, the other 20 across here. Okay, so the idea here is um, pretty poor, but really poor. But the idea here is I'm going to put some signals in. As you as you do. A signal there. Adjust this to the posts only. That is better. Then I'm going to Croydon Sawmill. We're going to open up both platforms. No, this is not right. Batsley, what's no, 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 no. This this needs to be renamed to Croydon Forest. That's probably nearer to Batley, isn't it? No, it's Croydon Forest. Look at the size of it. It's a massive forest. It's absolutely massive. So that's Croydon Forest. Now, the idea here, as you can see, is it is supposed to do that. Uh, if I then get rid of ye no, not you, you, you should be okay. Maybe just push this signal slightly further up. And the only reason for that is to try to fit a train in here without blocking this road. Okay. I'm then going to manage all three of these vehicles, edit them, remove one wagon from each. There we go. And then I'm going to clone one. Let's see how this pans out. Why have you done that? You bizarre thing. I mean, suddenly the, the, this is all starting to look quite uh, quite large. Everything everything is expanding at a at a rapid rate. But now, please work. Please start working. You just keep going. You do not need to wait in any queue. You just do what you need to do. Off you go. And now we're going to have a bit of traffic. But this should be good. So we just have to wait a little while. I mean... They reach... 40. Yes, they, they reach 40. And also, I'm thinking I should probably put uh, a sign for 50 here, but slow this whole area down to 30. Now, slow the whole thing down to 20, actually. I am going to slow it down to 20. I think that is, is going to be much more uh, reasonable, I guess. There we go. Okay. New thing. We need to have I just realised the sawmill now at the forest platform 2 needs to be the main platform with one as a secondary. Reason being is that if something's at one and trying to come out, nothing can get into platform two. Something at two and trying to come out, platform one is still open. Yes. Exactly like this, in fact. There, there's, there is a key... There we go. That, that was a, a prime example. Uh, thank you, game, for, for getting that 
uh, rights from you. What are you producing now? Massive amounts of uh, lumber. But look at that movement now. So we have essentially... We've taken that down one. So what was it? 174? Was it? Perhaps. But we've added another 21... We've added another 21... Um, what's it called? Uh, an another 21 carriages on another train. So that is that is really good i think it wasn't 174 it would have been 176 isn't it because each one that divided by 21 is uh eight so effectively we have increased all of this by a total of so so we've reduced it by 24 but it's increased by 168 giving us a net increase of 144 that's big. That is that is important. A 144 uh, increase. It is very important. See now, this this is still going to be a problem. There is not much I can do about that. But at least it is going to be less of a problem. Hopefully, I really don't know should be less of a problem. How's this going? This is still maxed out. How many trains could I run on this? I wonder how many trains could I run on this thing? And do I need to run that many trains is, is the other question. Yes I do apparently because that has run out. You are kidding. I mean, it, it, was, it was one. It, it missed it by one. So that isn't terrible. No, that isn't terrible overall. And this so far has 83 and we're done. And I bet you there's another train. There it is. What is it? Yep, it's one of them. That's 83. Will this be enough? 168. It will make another 84. And this requires 144. And it's had 83. Therefore, it requires 61, so that should be okay. Okay, not not appalling yet. It it is improving slowly, and and I do mean really slowly. But the movement of the trains is is far better. we have here? A hundred nearly? No, we have over a hundred. Okay, on this one we require, what, 37? That is not too bad. What is the next train coming? Oh, another one of them. Okay, it is starting to work. It is, it is starting to work. Because this train will be on its way out just as that train emerges from the tunnel. There you go. So that... It is working. It is working. It is... It isn't working perfectly. But it is working. Now, 47 plus the other 84. We're getting there because this train is now going to have 131 on board it. Once by the time that runs out, I think. Did I do that calculation correct? 37 plus 84, 131? I think so. I wasn't really thinking. Ah! 
but now we've run into a bit of an issue because that is going to wait it is the 131 quickly get that out of the way oh that was that worked that certainly worked but now we have another train waiting but as I said this is now better and the reason this is better is because this one only needs or only needed now it's got it uh, 15 so no sorry not 15 13 so with the 13 and the other 84 being made from this one so take away the 13 from that and you're going to have 71 made plus another 84 from this so you're going to have what 155 and this thing can only take 144 so we're going to have 11 left over for the next train ready to go of course there's another train already coming in so we're not even going to get to see if my very quick mental maths was correct oh we might there we go The thing about mental maths, for those people who like doing, who, who, who perhaps think, oh, we're not that good at mental maths or, or whatever. The thing about mental maths is trust in your own abilities. That is really, really important. You have to trust in your own ability in mental maths. If you start second guessing everything you do, it becomes a lot harder uh, to, to do anything effectively. How is this looking? 4 of 22, 2 of 19, yeah, it's all right. It's great, but it's all right. Just realized I could probably increase the size of these. And uh, we've already got cues. This is this is endless. But again, we've we've got another thirty-five there, plus the eighty-four that shall be made here. So we're we're well up to a uh, what one hundred and nineteen. I think this thing needs to perhaps produce things a little faster um, that would be helpful there you go okay this could be interesting now we just have cues everywhere uh, I actually want to take a, a thumbnail of this because we have a bunch of different trains all queuing or I say all queuing just have a bunch of different trains now I'm going to take this from a couple of angles so the first one I'm going to take is that then I'm going to go around this way and attempt to take it from this angle perhaps waiting or perhaps something along these lines there we go job done this is a good place to just watch trains I guess Oh, look at that. Right. So th there is a, a slow improvement. I mean, th this is still just absolutely maxed out. There is, there is nothing I can do about that at this point in time. The only thing I could do is attempt to make a third platform on this. I say a third platform, I guess I could just put the 
the railway here and just have this platform act as a platform for both sides. And then add another one of these trains and then another one of the others. And these trains are probably, I was going to say, these trains must be making money. And they are, they really, really are making money. These trains must be making money too, yeah. Now, this is a very profitable, um, profitable route. It just needs optimization. Quite a bit of it. How do I optimize this? I'm really tempted to add another train to the mix here. I'm going to attempt it. Add another train to the mix. Because this is still a bit too slow. Now what I need this train to do is go straight to... Oh dear. I need this to go straight to the next one. There we go. Just move on. There should be a button to say go to next destination in this title. That would be great. If, if that was something in this title, that would be absolutely fantastic. Right. And now we have traffic. Oh, bother. It's fine, it's fine. It's fine, we're dealing with it. A fifth train may improve this. Or completely and utterly ruin it. Well, at least that one decided, right, I've given up on what I have, so I'm going. That actually does help uh, level things out. So that is a good thing. Where's that tiny little train of ours? There's the tiny little train. Look at it, it's such a tiny little train. Bye -bye. It's very red. 23 of 66, I mean, that is not something to be sniffed at. I was going to say, you, you have goods. Why are you not producing at a ridiculous rate? Come on. Okay, perhaps we need to supply more than what you have. But you should be supplying, you should be going at a ridiculous rate. Why are you not? Oh, it's, it's dead. Okay. That, that, yeah, that, that's a problem. It's okay, we, we've got that train coming in with a little bit, and then this train coming in with a, a little bit more. Yep. And then we've got this train, who is uh, stuck. Oh no. Now we've got some traffic. Come on, come on, come on. Maybe I should just slow all the traffic down a little. Traffic calming measures, it doesn't work. I know people, I know they say in the councils and stuff, traffic calming measures on the road, they work and they, they help. Honestly, in some places, yes. In a number of others, really no. Okay, so that is now moving. That one should be getting out of there. There's another one coming in. I mean, it is... We have... Well, okay, this could be the first time we end up with a train that... Oh, thank you, Autosave. I was going to say, this could, this could be the first time we end up with a train that has something for us. Um, something that, in a while since I've started upgrading this that has a full uh, a full train very quickly by the time you know by the time it's finished loading it should be full I say that obviously by the time it's finished loading it should be full what I mean is by the time it's finished loading in one go it is not waiting for any further uh, anything further to load onto it no it is still going to wait but it is so close. It is so, so close now. 
Aye, there we go, it's on its way. And that is really good. How is this this looking? Are you still you're still completely and utterly overloaded? I need to create a custom factory for this. This this thing is is completely overloaded. Well, that's what I should have done. That's way in. That's no. That still wouldn't have worked. There's always going to be a crossover point, no matter what. Okay, now you're a problem. Well, I say you're a problem. Uh, you should make your forty-four. You do. There you go. That one is gone, and we have a train with another bunch ready. Okay, that's 11 plus another 84, so this isn't much. It's going to be 95, but there's a train behind it. Right, whilst all of that is going on, I'm going to add some assets here. Just, just because I can. Uh, not any of that. Uh, UK, I'm just going to go to UK, OK, uh, Victorian, commercial buildings, no, a uh, house, come on, oh no, there we go, UK, we're not going for a terraced house, we're not going for those, ooh, warehouses, hello, um, no, these are the ones, Victorian housing. Good old Victorian housing. I will build those soon as well. But for now, all along the back of this, and uh, no garden will enable population. Uh, roof colour needs to be the same. Very two, sure. Brick colour can be bright. Uh, door colour can be random, fences we're not worried about because we're not doing that. I shall make the fences manually when I get a chance. Okay. Interesting. I shall have to do this in much smaller... smaller sequences, annoyingly. So I'm just going to place some of these in just to just to really start getting this bit all going. Now obviously these are not going to be perfect but the idea of these is it's not to be quite perfect on them. You can actually leave a little gap because they actually they do do that. There we go. It's, it isn't to be quite perfect it's more so to give the the idea that yes we have a an actual properly built built up place. Oh, look at that. That's actually worked really well. It's a shame we cannot do individual houses to get it sort of to go around these corners properly. That's that is a shame, but Look at that. So now we actually have housing starting to starting to build up. And that would make sense because you know these people could look out there, a farm, a, you know, it, it is all it is all correct. I, I am going to I am going to finish this before I before I finish this episode. I need to do this properly. Uh, now not all of them need population so for example on this side uh, I shall not add any with population things will just get far too overcrowded far too quickly for for us to deal with that so I'm just going to do this to try to balance things out a little Obviously, I'm not trying to... Essentially, I do not want to run into 
and he shoot it now. Bother. Uh, do you know what? That's fine. It's it happens. This this does happen. There we go. And uh, guess we'll do the same on this side. Turn it around 180 degrees. Now the collision could be something to worry about, but working on it. Try, try my best to avoid collisions. There we go. If only there was a way to perhaps press a key to switch off collisions. Do you know what? There probably is a key. Just thinking about it, there probably is a key to switch off collisions that I do not know. Now that is not great. It really is not great at all. Can I... Can I smooth any of that out? No. Why does that... So, if the garden is not enabled... Can I not make that small? Apparently not. Well, this is going to be a little awkward. Nevertheless, it is starting to look like a like a town, and that is the really, really important part. That is is starting to look very much like a town. Great. How's all of this doing? Oh, not not so great. What do you have? Seventeen this time. Okay. And off you go. Uh, yeah, this this is this is still not working. It, it is working better, but. It is not working. I need another platform here. I definitely need another platform. Similar to how this is working. Although, I see this is working. Transport is... That, that is an insane amount of production. Stop, stop deforestation. Um, there we go. Shall we add a little bit more on this side to, to really pan it out? Uh, yeah, let's do that. Add some more population, I guess. Let's leave a, a gap again. Sometimes, as I said, they, they have these gaps uh, between, between these. And I guess as we're going to start going around a, a corner, we should probably begin to do this. Now, obviously, this is going to make it more difficult, just the way everything works. Um, this whole angle back bit sticking out is, is going to... The only thing I could do is that, and that is going to look even more horrendous. So... My only option is this, where we, we just have to deal with this, this little back bit there. It doesn't look terrible from... it doesn't look appalling, it just does not look great. That is all. Uh, I guess we can turn this all the way around. So we'll go ahead and do that. That. All the way. I've just realised that as soon as I, as soon as I try to upgrade this road, things are going to go wrong. So there is that to to be concerned about. There we go. 
Oh, that, that looks really cool. That just looks really, really nice. Really nice overall. Bunch of people living here. Whole bunch of houses. I'm sure we could probably find another... see we've got we've got these options if we wanted to we could add a few of these if we wanted to want to say that yes we've, we've got to a point where some of the houses being made are, are these I'm not sure we're there yet but yes this looks great it really does just thinking where on earth could I take screenshots from that would really really show this off uh, there for example is that would really really work I'll tell you what it will do look at that it, it does start looking quite good so uh, with that I think oh, I need to kind of want to see an engine maybe I'm not sure I'm not sure how I want to put this let's try that well this is where I'm going to end this video thank you very much for watching please remember to hit the like button if you like this video subscribe to the channel for more videos on Transports Fever 2 the UK modded series oh that is really nice too just to see all those houses in the distance so you, you can tell we're we're in an area that yeah but that, that really does work if you can do so you can support me on Patreon uh, that would be very very uh well, that'd be very very helpful so that is at www.patreon.com slash ec gadget your sports would be as i said massively appreciated it would be very helpful and it really would help me out and also you can find me on social media at instagram and for now twitter at ec gadget lp lastly you can join my discord server link to that is in the description box below as well that is all from me I shall see you next time in Transports Fever 2, the UK modded series. It only took two episodes for me to do what I wanted to do in one episode. But there we go. That is the... What's the phrase? That is just the way the cookie crumbles. I'll see you next time.